is called Daewoo. Day who? Daewoo, the biggest car company you've never heard of. You've seen the advertising, you've heard the hype. Korea's answer to angst-free motoring is Daewoo, who say that their pricing, equipment, warranty and aftercare package are second to none. But let's take a moment to look behind the bluster, the flim-flam and the million-pound advertising spend to ask a single, simple question. Can the Daewoo promise really be as good as they claim? If you think you're one of the hundred, call. Now, I know what you're expecting me to say, that Daewoo is a filth, that they're Far Eastern junk. Well, it's not as easy as that, because they haven't been around long enough for us to know, really, how good the cars and the package actually are. So, in a fever of curiosity, Top Gear has decided to set the record straight. But before we dish the dirt, let's begin at the beginning. What are they like to drive? Well, the answer to that is they're pretty dull and undynamic because the Espero and the Nexia are simply ancient Vauxhall Cavalier and Astro Mechanicals dressed up in a Deu party frock. Excitement, therefore, is not part of the package. But to be fair, the owners we spoke to weren't that bothered. They just want the cars to go and stop, which they do admirably enough. One bloke summed it up very well, though. He said, no matter how they drive, if you're getting out of a six-year-old Sierra into a brand new Deo, it feels like a little BMW. But if it had to be brutally honest, cards on the table, here we go. Driving a Deo is about as much fun as a sinus wash. No, it's not the most exciting car to drive at all. Um, but most people that have a motor car really want to go from A to B in reasonable comfort and a reasonable speed. It goes well, it performs well, it's reasonably economic. And to live with it is fine. Driving it is... Not the best experience in the world, but it's not a bad experience. So just how good is this much-vaunted after-sales package? Well, nearly everyone seems to be very satisfied, and they reckon that the Deo package isn't just good, it's brilliant, and you can see why. As well as free delivery number plates and road tax, you get a 60,000-mile three-year warranty, free collection and delivery for servicing, AA cover, a guaranteed courtesy car should you ever need it, and most important of all, they will service your car, parts and labour, absolutely free for three whole years. All the bits and pieces that they've included have meant that I've had a trouble-free drive for, for well over a year. Um, the only problem that I did have was, for instance, the stereo broke down a year after I had it, and I thought, oh, I bet that's not covered on warranty. And it was, which I was surprised at. When the car needs servicing, it's a telephone call to the local, you know, the local dealership, and they will either come and collect the car from me, um, although being retired, I can usually deliver the car to them. But having got there, there's the, a the car given to me immediately to bring back home again, which I keep for the day or possibly even two days for the, for the service to be done. It's very good and very reliable. OK, another question. What about reliability? Deus have all the engineering sophistication of a turnip which is perhaps why only one owner complained of mechanical maladies, which, incidentally, Deu never managed to sort to his satisfaction. But everybody else seemed well-pleased, only quibbling about trim and electrical problems like leaking sunroofs, wiper, central locking, radio and light faults. But nearly every owner we spoke to said that they would definitely buy another, particularly if there are some new and more exciting models, which, of course, is Deu's grand plan. They're establishing a bridgehead here, wowing us with their warranties and generally softening us up until the real cars arrive. I've had it 13 months now and I've done 13,500 miles in it. Uh, various holiday trips to Scotland, Peak District, all over the place. It's been very reliable. I uh, haven't had any major problems at all. I uh, had a few niggles to begin with, which they sorted out very quickly. And yes, I've been very pleased with it. But we did come across one big problem, and that's this, that many owners are worried about their car's eventual resale value. And the problem is, the used market isn't exactly stiff with Deus. The few that are about get bought up by Deus dealers, who effectively control the prices. So the critical question we need to ask, then, is this. Once Deus filter onto the second-hand market, will their depreciation be galloping or glacial? We spoke to one of the industry's leading price guides, the CAP Black Book, who reckon used values won't be as bad as people think. They said we would not expect to see a crash in their current residual values, but neither do we expect to see them fly to the stars. 
So daily depreciation, much like their cars, is going to be average. Not brilliant, but certainly not terrible. And one reason why a scare story grew up about depreciation is that a big dealer group actually advertised in the press that they would, under no circumstances, take any deus in part exchange. It was a, a deliberate attempt to spook the market. Of one thing, you can be sure. The rest of the motor trade don't like deu one little bit. They've had their feathers ruffled and have been rather vocal about it. Car dealers in Scotland complained bitterly about Deu's TV ads. And at the Northampton Motor Show, other dealers didn't want Deu to exhibit at all and threatened to pull out if they did. And some newspapers and magazines have even been pressurised by the trade not to run Deu advertising. All of which, frankly, astonishes me. Shame on you boys, gone a bit sulky because of a little healthy competition. Dear, oh dear. But if all this sounds too positive by half, let's try one final test. If you really want to know how good a car is, then watch it working. Let's see how Deus fare as company cars. The fleet buying decision had to be taken very, very carefully. It's not something we do on a month-to-month -month basis. Deus have supplied service and support over and above our expectations, and certainly in excess of the experience we had with Fords. We've only been a year into the three-year support package, but everything is perfect. Every fault that we've found, minor or otherwise, has been dealt with straight away, without any question whatsoever. We have a lone car. I don't have to worry about the fleet, where before I had to concern myself with what went, what was the cost. I was very concerned that the reaction of the drivers would be negative. They all prefer the Deu equivalent, because they're getting more facilities. So what's the verdict? Well, driving a Deu may not increase your personal magnetism by 100%. Their used values may not be class-leading. But according to you, they are reliable, well-warranted, and sold by a manufacturer who cares more than most. But best of all, Deu have managed to rattle the rest of the industry. Their package is so unique that it's no surprise that other manufacturers are considering scrapping things like delivery charges altogether. So if Deo have done anything, it's this. They have established a new and higher car buying benchmark, a standard by which all other manufacturers must be judged. A good thing, for which I say, well done. Yeah.